Well, welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. My name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and this show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, lots of questions come in every week, and I love answering your questions. So if there's something you'd like me to read live on the show or just answer personally um, in an email, um, send it off to me. You can reach me at scientist at A-L-L-A-M-P-H dot com. Anyway, uh, Lacey from Cleveland, Ohio, my home stomping grounds, writes, Dr. Jeff, love your videos and radio show. Can you help me out? What can I do for tendonitis in my forearms? Seems like it never will heal. Oh boy, tendonitis is a rough thing to have. And normally in the forearms, it, it, it right through this outer part uh, or on top. Um, boy, you can be doing nothing. Um, but usually it's just overstraining, um, overusing, um, and those muscles, those tendons just get sore and they're quite painful. So here's what I have done uh, when I've had tendonitis in the past. It's a fairly common thing. Um, as an athlete, you just don't want to quit uh, and not train for you know weeks on end. So you kind of kind of work through the pain, but you got to be careful because you want it to heal. So the first thing I do is I take Crescelazine cream and I will rub it into the area uh, really good about five minutes uh, before I, I train. And this will literally be when I get to the gym, I will put that on. And then I like to utilize these pressure point bands, very nice. Um, you know, you normally would wrap them around your forearm. Um, there's a pressure point that helps to eliminate a lot of that pain. And that'll help you get through your workout. Now, again, be careful not to do things that really cause pain. Because again, our whole goal is to try to get through the workout, but we want to heal up. Then ice will become your best friend. And I'm not talking about taking an ice cube and wrapping it in a towel. I mean, let's not be a baby, you know, let's get that ice on that forearm. You know, for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, you know, ice will help get rid of that inflammation. Now I'm old school, so after I ice, I then like to go soak it in a hot bathtub or, or a shower, and I'll come back later on and I'll put some more ice on it. Um, and then depending on, you know, how bad the pain is, uh, I will also introduce uh, Crescelazine capsules, um, which help with all that inflammation. Now those are both marketed under uh, EFX Sports as joint rehab, very beneficial. So to kind of recap, um, put some Crescelazine cream, kind of warm that area up. Um, utilize some tendonitis uh, pressure point bands and ice. Other than that, just be patient. It takes sometimes weeks for that to heal, um, but it will eventually uh, heal up. Anyway, I hope that helps, and we'll catch you next time.